Okay, uh, before we even begin, this is going to have a couple shout outs. I'd like to give a shout out to Johnny Five Alive. Uh, he gave me a shout out a couple weeks ago, and um, it brought a little bit of traffic to the channel. I ended up. Uh, uh, I ended up uh, getting a, a really nice message from a person or two, and so I uh, want to thank Johnny Five Alive for that, and uh, Ben Parker Comics, uh, he's, he's one of the people that responded and uh, had a really uh, nice conversation with him, so links to the description, haven't even started this episode yet. Um, uh, here, here's here's a here's a minute long intro. Just just watch it. Okay, so uh, uh, I have no idea. What I think I'm wanting to say this episode 147. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've done anything, and uh, long, you know I just haven't really been feeling very ostentatious. So like I've just uh, been putting it off. But, you know, it gets that time of year. You know, it's like uh, as as great Roy Wood would say. I wish it could be Christmas every day. It's a, it's it's a it's that down it's that downward slope. We're past you know the holidays, you know, and we're being here in uh, being here in Arizona, you know. We got a couple weeks of winter yet, but like it's soon going to be spring, which means summer. And I don't like summers around here. Oh God. So like it's it's one of those things that just sort of messes with my head a little bit, um, but yeah, I, uh, uh, for uh, some people out there, you're know, gonna be grateful to know that I'm a little bit back into Cape shit again. I haven't been for a little while, been sort of, you know, going through the motions when I do these. But like I've, uh, um, Comicsology had a sale for. On their uh, Marvel Masterworks around Christmas time, you know they were all like two dollars a piece. So like I, I really loaded up on them, and I was like reading uh, first volume of Silver Surfer uh, yesterday. It's interesting because like I uh, was really uh, I was a huge fan of the of the '80s run of Superman, um, the '80s and '90s run of Superman. 80s and 90s not super I was a fan of that too but like Silver Surfer I was a big fan of that but um, you know I never actually got around to reading that original run of uh, Silver Surfer you know largely because they just were you know not exactly easy to find and you know nowadays they're they're well without well you know beyond my uh uh, price range, but it's been really it's been really nice to uh, read those even if they're digital So that's that so like today I got this in the mail. So uh, I was not anticipating anything I was going to do something else this week. I didn't I have well like one or two other things in here that are Cape shit related But like I wasn't anticipating this I got like this little surprise gift from uh, Boss Kong I got silverback box a little A-OK from him. So, uh, so we're gonna get into, I think like the last episode was, uh, 
was uh, silver back as well. I do a lot of these throughout the year, but like as I said, he's, he's you know he's top tier. So this is a gift from him. So thank you very much. Uh, got a nice little uh, painting of Carnage on here. Let's do the thumbnail. Okay. I'm trying to do this all in one take so I don't have to, I got that limitation on the, on the camera. I gotta do everything in 20 minutes. So let's try to have a short episode, deliberately so. I don't really, uh, I don't really want to, uh, uh, I don't really want to go into too much today. I have, uh, like, one or two o'clock in the morning here and I have I have two cats that are being assholes right now so I had to like separate them I was hoping to go to bed but like it's not gonna happen so um, yeah come on dude uh, Think I could do this in 10 minutes time? I think so. Ah! Ah! Yeah! I'm sorry, dude. You put so much effort into all this shit. Ah! Come on! Everything! Hey! Hey! Yeah. Thank goodness. Okay, so last time I did one of these, he had to give me instructions on how to open his boxes. I don't think this one looks like it's pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to just try to try to get through this as fast as I fucking can. So, yeah, everything seems to be on the up and up. Looks like there's some more of his artwork in here. So everything looks like it's kosher. So we got a couple pieces of his artwork here. And what we have, we have. Oh, hell yeah. His work is getting so much better. Look at this. This is a great Captain America. That's a really great Captain America. I'm starting to get a nice little folio of his artwork. And uh, that's a great Captain America. And what, lo and behold, Galactus and Silver Surfer. So, off to a great start. I have no idea why. I'm gonna try to barrel through this. And if the camera cuts off, the camera will cut off. So let's go see exactly what. Silverback hat in mind. Yeah, man. Oh. Sometimes I feel like I'm gutting a fish. So, uh, there we go. I don't think I need that. So, we have here. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Oh, I have no idea. Anyway, here we go. We got a little note. It says, Rude, I know I'm a bit late for the holiday, but I want to take a second to really say thank you for your unwavering support after these past few years. You were one of the very first folks to reach out and try my first boxes. And it's truly awesome and means so much that you have stuck by me and supported me every chance you can. As a thank you to a select few of you, I went into my small personal collection, pulled out a small collection of stuff that I thought you would like or appreciate. This is my thank you to all for the support and loyalty you have shown me. It's not much, but I hope you enjoy. He's one of the good ones. He really is. So, whoa. Really? This is already, you know, something for the PC. We got Alan Moore, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Parts 1 and 2, Bumper Compendium Edition. That is for the PC all day long. Dude, that is great. Thank you. 
I didn't expect that. So that's fantastic. And then uh, the return of Superman. I got a bunch of these already. Um, I'm really happy to have it. I, I, you know, it's one of those things that you know if I find them in the uh, find them in the uh, stores and they're reasonable, I don't mind picking them up for sure. So that's really nice to have. And uh, what is this? Digital webbing presents Mask of the Gargoyle. Uh, looks like it has a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing on the inside. So, I have to look that up. I have no idea what that is. That's pretty cool. Hello! I love these old uh, Marvel horror comics. Tomb of Darkness, number 15. This is great. Yeah, this is uh, looking like it's going to be PC stuff here. <laughs> Dark Horse Presents Big Blown Baby. Oh, look at that. So I'll take that. And then we have some House of Mystery. Oh, that's a great cover. Who's the artist? I can't tell. House of Mystery, number 260. So, uh, that's great. Marvel Premiere featuring 3D Man. Uh, I love this. Marvel's great new 1950s superhero faces the crisis of the Cold Warrior. I'll take that all day long. So I'm happy to have that. What we have here... Iron Man 248, back when Iron Man was worth reading. Can't remember if there's anything particular about that, but I'll take that all day long. This is all great stuff. Yeah, and here we have Adventures of Superman number 500. So, that was right during that. So, that's the... That's that. Oh, yeah! Hell yeah, man! Fred Hembeck destroys the Marvel Universe. I love this front. Uh, you know, I think like the, uh, the box I opened up recently had the uh, had uh, uh, what the comics. Fred, Hem Fred Hembeck has been you know around. He did like all these like uh, uh, cartoony uh, parodies of comic books. I always like when I was little. When I was little. When I was like in middle school. You know, like I was always you know like. Why does he do the curly cues on the knees? But, like, I almost bought this uh, special all-death episode. Will the Punisher destroy Fred Hembeck? This is a great thing. This is like, this is definitely going for my PC, because I almost bought this for myself a couple years ago, because I didn't know this existed a couple years ago. And, and uh, this came up when I was looking up Fred Hembeck. So I'm actually really happy to have that. That's, that's like tailor-made for me. Here we have uh, old Doom Patrol issue. Doom Patrol number 122. Hell yeah, man. This is all PC stuff. That is just fantastic. I don't know anything about that uh, Mask of the Gargoyle. I'd have to look that up. Beyond that, yeah, this is, uh, this is these are all keepers. These are all keepers. And this was, you know, this was, you know, a nice little A-OK -okay from uh, Boss Kong. But this isn't far removed from the kind of stuff you get from those boxes. So check out his Instagram in the uh, description below. And uh, also in the description below, we have a, uh, we have uh, my book, Bad Things, available on Amazon. Go check it out. Fucked up shit. Anyway, that's that. I'm in better spirits than I thought I would be. Yeah, you know, it's like I, uh, I sometimes try to get myself in a bad mood when I'm doing these things, just because, you know, I like being a little bit cantankerous, but, like, what can you do? <laughs> I'll see you next week, maybe. I, actually, I have uh, some 
movie related content I hope, hope to have for you next week so beyond that I guess that's it see you next time